eventually lose it if we just don't continue to teach the language, the songs, the culture, stickball games, things like that that we're trying to put forth uh, through this cultural event. I like to educate children, to educate them as to how things were made and how things, how the, the, that the natives lived, say, even back in the 1800s, how hard it was to make things, how intelligent they were to be able to figure out like the basket patterns and the counts and the weaves. Today I've made sopunipi and I've made red beans with sweet corn. Now I know it's not a full full day event, but at least I get a idea of maybe the way that the way that some of the foods that we used to eat, some of the the stickball games, the the dances that we used to do years ago. These traditions came from Alabama and Georgia when our ancestors came on the Trail of Tears. I brought my son because I want him to learn, you know, where he comes from, so that way, one day when he has kids, he'll be able to pass it down to his own and keep it going. If we don't have our children to learn the culture and carry it on, we're going to be able to lose it. This game, it, it was just really fun. I, I liked all of the, I liked when everybody just started running after the ball. Some boys tried to catch it and they started throwing it. It, it was just really cool.